I'm Matthew. Uh, team just got back from training down in Florida. What was that experience like? It's great to get away from Oxford for a while um, and kind of be united with the team and, and get some time away uh, from the pressures of school and, uh, and being here over J term. It's nice to, to get down to a warmer environment where we can just focus on our training. Um, it's a great team bonding experience um, and it's nice to go back uh, to an area that Coach Holly is familiar with. She could kind of show us around and um, we had some fun excursions uh, there along the way. So it was a great trip. Uh, we got some really hard training in. Um, and that's going to set us up well for some of these uh, conference dual meets we have coming up. So. You know, you've got UC, your local rival, UC, on the road uh, on Wednesday. Uh, so what are the team's uh, thoughts and preparation heading into that one? Very much excited for this meet. Um, we've had this meet circled uh, on the calendar for a while, uh, as it was such a close meet for us last year. Um, so the team coming off some really hard training. Uh, we know UC is as well, so we're, we're ready for a fight uh, in Cincinnati. We're excited. And how is the team going to really be able to use that training uh, session that you got down in Florida to really have, have a big second half? It gives us a ton of confidence uh, coming off that really hard training and knowing that uh, Cincinnati's gone through some difficult training as well. Uh, it just gives us a lot of confidence uh, going into the meet. So. All right, Coach, team just arrived back north from Florida with some uh, long training sessions. I guess, how would you gauge how that uh, first training trip went as uh, coach of the Red Hawks? Well, it was a very interesting trip for me because it was my first trip as a coach in general because I'd always coached Florida teams, so we never went on a training trip ever. So it was neat to do that pre-planning and to start that planning early in the fall and have it really come together and to essentially be Julie the cruise director for the entire week because I was so familiar with that area, having lived there for so long. But the focus, focus was really on training and, and the specific training that the athletes needed, as well as experiencing some excursions that we could go on. Starting off the second half of the season against uh, local rival uh, Cincinnati on Wednesday, probably not too tough to get everybody motivated for that one and springboard into the second half. Uh, how excited are you to see you know, the team's compete level and the progress they made over the training? I think it's going to be really great to see how we've done as a, as a team, uh, to see how they're going to respond both to the training and now to swim a team like Cincinnati. Cincinnati's done a great job over the last few years of bringing themselves into you know, the light and um, you know, being very competitive. So I think it's going to be a great opportunity for us to get going in this new semester and to see what we can do and perform really well. What do you expect to see out of these teams in the second half? Um, I expect to see a lot of focus on refining the things that we've always been working on all season, but now that we're getting close to conference, to see those things start to come together, both with the power, the speed, um, and just trudging forward to what we need to be doing.